Okay, so today I am going to be sharing with you some of the um, new makes that I have recently created so I will be sharing with you these patterns that will be showing up on my pattern coming up and there are eight patterns and these are videos that you can look forward to seeing so you'll be able to know what's coming up and what sewing makes I have been working on oh before I get started let me just share that this top that I'm wearing is McCall 6164 um, this is a really old pattern and um, I really like it though because it has the uh, gathering it's the elastic that's put in the sleeve and I think it turned out really cute. So um, yeah, I just made this this week. So this is my first time throwing it on to show in the video. So okay, let me go ahead and get started and share with you what my uh, new makes are. So the first one is going to be Butterick 6207. And this is a knit dress and I made the one with the little rounded hem. The next one is McCall's 3637 and I made the top which is the well it's the only top in the view I believe I'm not looking at it right now but I remember it's the top and it has the little ruffled around the front and the back and it's a vintage top. The next one is McCall 7878 and this is the long I made the long jacket slash dress and I made that in black. The next one is New Look 6874, and I made a white t-shirt, short sleeve shirt. The next one is Berta 6471, and I made the cropped knit pants. Next is Butterick 6175, and I made this top in denim, and I added a pocket to the front. The next one is Simplicity 1355 and I made the jumpsuit and I made it in a colorful fabric. Next is six, New Look 6511 and I made baby doll top and I actually used some fabric that I found from Joann's and it was factory distressed so it has little bitty holes all in the fabric. It's kind of like a denim looking fabric um, but it's really soft and flowy. So yeah, those are the eight makes that you can look forward to seeing in the next couple of weeks. And before I go, let me get you a love share. I have to go get it because I wrote it down, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to go grab my uh, journal off of a chair that was over there. Okay, so my love share for today is that in Columbia, I'm sorry, in New York, at Columbia College, there is a graduation requirement that the students must pass a swim test before they can get their diploma. That um, requirement for a swim test is also uh, present at Cornell, Dartmouth, and MIT. So I thought that was very interesting. I remember um, back in high school where we had to take a swim test in order to graduate for high school, but I didn't know that this was still going on in colleges and universities. And in fact, I don't even know if it's still going on in high school. I might have to look that up because I'm curious now. So yeah, anyway, um, that is all that I have today. And I want to thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time.